you travel just north of Florence on the Oregon coast, you will run into one of the most picturesque lighthouses you have ever seen. Crisp white paint, gleaming orange roof, and Intaker's house about 200 feet down the cliff. It's a scene one might only see in postcards. A scene so beautiful, you think if somebody was vacationing there or staying there, why would they ever want to leave? The lighthouse itself is a work of art. Eight panel lens and 650 prisms make up the components. Now you would think that would be enough to keep people's tongues wagging about this property, but no. There's a ghost attached, and her name is Rue. Now Rue is not a benevolent spirit, not ill-willed in nature, but there are quite a few sightings guests have noted seeing strange gray mists form, go up the stairs, rattle dishes, move things around, and form into the shape of a woman in period-style clothing, long gray hair, gray dress, bold weathered face, and completely gray. The lady in gray they call her, otherwise known as Rue, the innkeeper's wife. Sadly, falling against a jagged cliff and drowning. Some say the baby fell into a cistern well on the property. And supposedly, the grave of this toddler is somewhere between the lighthouse and the innkeeper's house. Now, two innkeepers were said to have lived at the property and didn't believe in ghosts. They thought the noises they were hearing in the attic at night were more organic in nature. So, they decided to put out man-made traps, rat traps. The next day, they went up to see if they could catch their culprit who's keeping them up at all hours of the night thumping around in the attic. And lo and behold, in the place of the rat trap was one silk woman's stocking. Never again did they question Rue. And since she wasn't bothering anybody, she outlasted them as well. The site used to be called Devil's Elbow, but now it's just a seat ahead observation area. I hope you stop by if you ever come to Oregon and say hello to Rue for me. Mean Miss C. Scary Local Legend.